It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 6th day of October. I'm James Spann. Warm weather headlines are forecast for the rest of the week. A front easing in here Friday afternoon or Friday night. Let's dive in. Check it out. Big upper low in the southwest United States. Producing unsettled weather there for Arizona. And the upper low that brought our unsettled weekend weather is off the coast of North Carolina, lifting out and a ridge beginning to build in. Little moisture trapped underneath that ridge, and we note a few small isolated showers on radar this afternoon over Winston County and Lawrence County. Uh, those are very isolated. Most of you will not see rain tonight, and I guess the chance of rain's not really zero tomorrow and Thursday, but most everybody will be just warm and dry. Temperatures mid-80s up in the Tennessee Valley. It's 85 in the Shoals and Decatur, but Birmingham at 78 because of some clouds. The same for Anniston. We'll expect highs in the low and mid-80s tomorrow and Thursday. Flash flood watches in effect for parts of West Texas, New Mexico, and Utah with that upper low in the southwest United States. Otherwise, things are quiet. And also in that zone, there could be a few severe storms. Uh, maybe places like Tucson and El Paso, Albuquerque. And then tomorrow, a marginal risk in that same zone. Here's the rain for the next five days. Not very much. This is valid through Sunday morning. Uh, the Gulf Coast, by the way, looking good. The National Shrimp Festival late this weekend over the weekend down in Gulf Shores. Weather looks fine. And again, up here, we could see a few showers Friday afternoon or Friday night. Doesn't look like a big deal. Tropical weather, a little wave in the Atlantic approaching the Leeward Islands, having a very hard time because of wind shear. That most likely will not develop. And up north, Hurricane Joaquin with winds of 80 miles an hour. By golly, that thing could wind up affecting Europe in about five days. Uh, be passing north of the Azores Thursday. Of course, it'll be subtropical by then, not a classic tropical type system in the North Atlantic. Hey, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock local time, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Upper low is east of Phoenix, a ridge. Just uh, the axis just to the west of us. And that should be a dry day. And again, technically, I guess there might be a shower somewhere, but the chance is so small, we're not going to mention it. Partly sunny, mid-80s. Same thing Thursday, mid-80s are likely. And Friday, mid-80s are likely. However, there is a cold front approaching from the north. A surface low is over upstate New York, and uh, that front could trigger a few scattered showers or storms, perhaps, Friday afternoon or Friday night. Uh, again, we don't think the rain's going to be really heavy or widespread, but definitely a possibility. And then Saturday, we get into drier air and cooler air. Numbers are coming down. The uh, GFS now printing 74 for Birmingham on Saturday with a nice north breeze. Sky should be mostly sunny, maybe some lingering clouds early in the day. Sunday looks good. Sunday morning, we'll do low 50s, maybe 40s for the colder pockets. But we warm up very quickly. The high Sunday afternoon around 80 with sunshine and full supply. Monday of next week, sunny with low 80s. And Tuesday, a week from today, the 13th. Look at the 594 heat bubble out there over the four corners. They're kind of going from cool and unsettled to uh, really hot uh, next week. And for us, that looks quiet. Lows probably in the 50s and highs around 80 if this is right. This is the end of the forecast, October the 16th. The end of next week, big uh, vortex over eastern Canada, but we've got flat ridging down here. That looks fairly quiet, but I'd say temperature should be about average if that's right. And we note that freeze line up north. See the 32-degree line coming down through the Great Lakes and the northeast. That's a sign of the times. And you can see the numbers are coming way down later this month, and we'll be in the 80s for the rest of this week. Then toward the end of next week and that following week, highs dropping in the 70s. And I spy 49 printing there around the 20th and 21st, if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.